Hey guys, welcome to SourceFed, I'm Joe Beretta. If I were to inform you right now that there are plans in the works to equip high-speed trains with friggin' laser beams, what do you suppose said laser beams would be for? Right, to eliminate obstacles on the track so to avoid any number of train-on unsuspecting object collisions. So, if you're anything like me, your childlike yet slightly violent imagination is brewing with visions of laser trains frying 18-wheelers stalled on the tracks, or even better, cows. But alas, the true catalyst for laser trains is far less extravagant, but still super interesting. It's leaves, like from trees, that cascade down from the canopy on a chilly autumn day. Apparently leaves are quite the adversaries for the rail industry. The tree debris accumulates on the rails and passing trains grind it into a pulp. Said pulp coats the rails and subsequently the wheels have trouble gripping the tracks. Aside from affecting the ever so important tasks of stopping and accelerating, it apparently also jams up a signaling system that warns trains about other trains and stops Michael Bay-esque train on train accidents from occurring. Leaves, man. Sinister roughage. Right now, water jets and a sandy gel-like mixture team up with manual scrubbing to clear the tracks, but this can damage the infrastructure of the rails. So, enter laser trains. Equipped right in front of a wheel, the laser shoots out at a downward angle and obliterates organic matter at 5,000 degrees Celsius. If you're worried about the track, don't be. The beam's wavelength simply bounces off the metal rails. As an added bonus, alongside annihilating plant life, the beam also dries the track, preventing other nefarious leaves from gathering on the rails. The company behind the sci-fi innovation is Laser Thor, which might be the coolest name for a company that I've ever heard. They've been working on this since 1999, but intense vibrations created by the trains occasionally knock the beam out of focus, creating an imperfect laser train system. That's why train people went with the water jets instead. Laser Thor worked on these kinks, and now Dutch Railways is testing out the tech over in the beautiful country of Dutch. If all goes to plan, the kick-butt laser trains of the future could help eliminate the surprisingly high number of delays due to the malintent of fallen tree refuse. Guys, what else should we put lasers on just because I suggest bears. Let me know in the comments down below. Blah 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 blah. Like blah blah blah. Subscribe blah blah. I'm Joe Blaretta. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.